Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend, Saturday, October 12th, 2024. It's about 10.54 a.m. here, California time. Latest activity shows a large quake coming into the Costa Rica area. Now, this is just being reported here from the EMSC model as a 6.2 earthquake there, hiding in that cluster of earthquakes. Uh, USGS not picking up on this uh, quake yet. Uh, we are seeing some of the P waves coming in there across various seismograph stations there from this large earthquake. Again, uh, situated there just off the coast of Costa Rica, uh, showing up there in Southern California as well in terms of that uh, earthquake uh, P wave. Maybe a four pointer coming in there earlier this morning around Southern Cal, well, Baja, California area as well. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map for any of these quakes yet. Uh, but with this elevated activity down south and working its way up north here, we'll definitely want to keep an eye here on Southern California today. Uh, 4.1, that was from about 9.50 a.m., so just about an hour ago. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the EMSC data here real quick, see what we have for uh, this earthquake coming in here. There it is in the purple circle here from the EMSC just off the coast of Costa Rica, about 25 kilometers deep here into the uh, southern end of the Middle America Trench, which is going to be positioned down here. They can get some large earthquakes out there. Uh, let me check the Tsunami Warning Center, make sure that we are in the clear on that. No Tsunami Warning Advisory Watch or Threat. They're not even picking up on that earthquake yet. Uh, nothing from the USGS. EMSC is the only agency that's uh, reporting this earthquake so far. It uh, just goes to show you the importance here of having a backup agency when it comes to uh, reporting these quakes. Of course, this has not been reviewed yet by a seismologist. Uh, let's see what we got here for any uh, folks reporting that. Uh, yeah, it looks like a few folks reporting some of the uh, shaking out there around the area. Not a very deep earthquake, but a large earthquake. 6.2 can... Uh, do some damage out there at the surface levels. So yeah, we'll have to wait here a second and see when the USGS reports it. But uh, looking at this data here, showed up on Parkfield, Petrolia, Barrett, that's in Southern California, 6.2. That's probably gonna remain a 6.2, uh, just going by these uh, waves that are showing up here. Uh, there in California. So obviously the earthquake way down here um, in the Costa Rica area. Seismic waves being picked up way north along the plate boundary here in Southern California. So things are uh, starting to stir up out here it looks like. A handful of smaller quakes out in the Southern California area as well. As you can see a couple um, very small microquakes. Anything above 2.5 out here overnight? Uh, yes, we had a 3.2 there in the Bakersfield area. About nine o'clock this morning here, about an hour and a half ago or so. That's the area that seen the five pointer here some weeks back. Looks like uh, actually uh, this fight, uh, this 3.2 that came in here is a little bit closer to the Garlock Fault shear zone and away from the area of swarming. Let me show you guys the swarming area. Uh, that's going to be right about here where that five-pointer struck a few weeks back and then of course various other magnitudes showing up there since uh, but this 3.2 occurring closer here to the interchange of the Garlock Fault shear zone and the San Andreas Fault some interesting activity there so we'll have to keep an eye on the Southern California area today uh, looks like things may be ramping up on the Earthquake 3D globe here, you can see that there was a 4.1 down here in the Gulf of uh, California. So we have activity stirring up out here, and it um, looks like things are starting to adjust accordingly. Nothing. Zip zero from the USGS right now. It's crazy. Crazy to think about that, but that's why it's so important here to, you know, utilize other agencies in terms of uh, getting notified quickly in terms of earthquake activity. That's so why I like to keep the Earthquake 3D globe here uh, adjusted accordingly with the USGS and the EMSC data. It helps out in terms of, you know, being able to be notified here quickly on the, uh, the uh, earthquake activity. 
So aside from that 6.2, we'll wait on the USGS, see what they want to state. Um, so far today, 4.9. So that's going to be uh, off the coast of Japan here. Fairly shallow earthquake just prior to the subduction zone. That's always not a good sign. Uh, major subduction zone area there. Big earthquakes can take place. Uh, but so far, aside from the 6.2 that's coming in, this would be the uh, second largest quake of the uh, of the day. And by the way, live stream is up and running. Uh, it went down surprisingly here just uh, a few hours ago. There's our earthquake coming in from the USGS. I felt my phone going off here in my pants, so I had to, uh, or in my pocket, and um, I had to pull that out real quick, see what it was. But it was a USGS notification there of an earthquake, 6.2, 11 miles deep here into the southern end of the Middle America Trench. Guarantee you that's going to be felt there at the surface levels. Uh, it is offshore. Not a whole lot of reports coming in right now, but uh, again, let's see here. I don't know about the population density out here, but uh, that's a, a decent earthquake, 6.2. Shaking things up out here on this weekend. Uh, keep an eye here on Southern California. Let's give a quick glance at the space weather activity where uh, I think we're getting spoiled with these events here. I mean, twice in, twice in a year, auroras down in Northern California. Even Southern California has seen some of that. Las Vegas, I heard, too. So, pretty crazy. Uh, elevated flare threat remains here through the uh, weekend. 25% chance for an X flare. M flare at 60. C flare around 99% chance or so. We do have a uh, sunspot that is currently facing the Earth and directly lined up. It looks like it wants to pop off a, a good flare here. Notice the... Uh, the UV filter ray here showing that activity. That is going to be off of sunspot number... Looks like it's going to be 3852 if we put this into the latest image here. It's lined up. Either way, these are very close sunspots. A lot of complexity within both of those cores. So this thing could blast off a uh, an X-flare. It is directly facing the Earth. So anything that does blast off um, in terms of CME activity will be certainly Earth directed. We could see another aurora event if that takes place. So keep an eye on that. It's currently uh, facing the Earth right there, and it looks like it's starting to flare up a little bit. Uh, but really, nothing major in the forecast now for the auroras. But that could change if we get a, a CME activity there or a large flare with a CME. All right, so 6.2 earthquake coming into the Costa Rica area over the last seven days or so. Uh, we've been noticing a, an elevated uptick out here across this area in general. This is the, the Caribbean plate. And what goes on here uh, ultimately affects the Caribbean plate. This is the Middle America Trench Southern end. And notice an uptick there across the Puerto Rico area. Uh, some movement happening here just off the coast of Honduras in the... Uh, this little trench zone right here. They can see some big earthquakes. Uh, so overall activity has been on the elevated side out here. 6.2 now confirming the elevated activity. We'll definitely keep an eye on it uh, and watch for some potential further movement. I think uh, Southern California here needs to be watched. And the reason why I say that is because of the elevated activity here across the eastern Pacific and the uh, adjacent plate here, the little uh, Cocos plate. Uh, and then also this activity in the Baja California region, right about here. Nothing showing up on the USGS map, but we do have earthquake activity there. Uh, today's event, about an hour and a half ago in the Grapevine area, outside of the swarming region. That's important because, let's see if this has been reviewed. It has not been reviewed yet, so it's possible this could get revised and repositioned there on the map. But either way, a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up here in Southern California. Uh, there's a movement off the coast of Oregon from last night. Nothing new showing up. Um, one little earthquake this morning following this activity. Looks like a little 2.1 southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. The rest of the country out here, very minimal. We'll keep an eye on things here and um, see how this earthquake activity um, 
goes today, but there's a couple deep earthquakes out here. Look at this. Tonga Trench, obviously that's uh, very common. And then also across the area of the Indonesia Islands area, this earthquake ring raised well off the globe. Um, yeah, it's not showing up on the USGS map, but it's in there. It's a super deep earthquake into this area. And look how much deep earthquake activity here. Look at the distance, I should say, between those two or three events. So watch these areas in the middle here. Uh, things look like they're starting to ramp up. Let's see what we got for the last 30 days of earthquake activity. Uh, really no major quiet zones out there in terms of seismic you know, lack of seismic activity across here. It looks like it's fairly well filled in, but uh, those two deeper, those three deeper earthquakes here uh, could potentially put the strain out here in between them. Uh, that would include this whole area of the plate boundary. And again, there's not a, I guess maybe the Santa Cruz Islands area is lacking some uh, earthquake uh, activity. So keep an eye on that. I always like to look at these little quiet zones here because they don't stay quiet for long. And if they do, then that's not normally not a good sign. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Live stream is up and running. Um, I, like I say, I don't know what brings it down. I wasn't in here in the computer room when it went down. But uh, appreciate uh, Timothy jumping on. Let me know that uh, it went down. We'll continue to watch it and monitor it. And of course, when it goes down, we'll try and get it up back up here as soon as we can in the meantime folks have yourself a wonderful saturday we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later have a good one